Oh, Rudy! This is love? Oh, they're talking about my boy Cliff. He is lost in that sauce. <laughs> oh, what about Rudy? Oh, sending that wave up there. But he would be waving at you if he knew. Oh, he just doesn't know. Sylphie, you're killing me. But it's not romantic. And that's something she can't quite understand yet. It's because they're the same. They both got isekai Of course there's going to be a connection there, right? They have a, a type of kinship and relatability to one another that no one else can have. Oh, poor Sylphie. Oh, Sylphie, you can do it! You just gotta make a move! Reveal your identity! Oh. Are all the other students afraid of him? <laughs> they are. They know how powerful he is now. Oh, this this woman. Even she's like, nah, stay away from me. <laughs> the only people not afraid of him are these two. And then Sylphie. <laughs> so many minions, why? I'm really fighting over their order. <laughs> it's crazy how Rudy really is running this place. Ooh, curses? Oh, he's still trying to figure out how to undo Alina Lisa's. My man is really trying hard. If he's actually able to successfully do that with Alina Lisa, I would be very impressed. He is giving it the, the old college try. Ooh, summoning. Ooh, summoning. He really has a packed schedule. He's basically just the mana source. Hmm. Wow. Okay, so this girl knows what she's doing. If she had her own mana, she would be very, very strong. Straight up summoned a feather. I gotta say, Nana Hoshi is very impressive. She's trying to summon someone from Japan? That's kind of messed up. But I guess if they figure out how to summon someone here, they can try to reverse engineer it. That's also a possibility. She could easily cause another disaster. She's just so secretive about everything. Man, if Rudy could figure out how to do this, he would be even more broken than he already is. Rudy's basically got a full-time job doing all this stuff. Between teaching Julie and going to class and making figures and helping Nana Hoshi. I really am curious what type of a role Julie is actually going to have, if any. 
She has to be some key to the story. You would think. Oh, that's why Sylphie is so, like, disappointed. Rudy doesn't have time to go to the library anymore. The struggle. Come on, Rudy, get it together. Oh, it's from Soldat. I wonder how he's doing. I still can't believe he walked away from, from Sarah like that. It's crazy it's been a year since he's seen them. Hey, yo, that's crazy for him to say. He was with her. He can't talk at all. Yeah, get out of here, Soldat. Don't be jealous. Don't be a hater. <laughs> Couldn't be you, Soldat. That was cool they got to really see each other for the short amount of time. The fist pump. Oh, they're gonna leave. She's gonna take Cliff with him. Okay, Cliff, stepping out into the world. Dang, they're really gonna leave. It's gonna be sad seeing Alina Lise go, to be honest. <laughs> I hope Cliff does well, man. I hope he finds a way to break her curse. I don't know how, but I'd love to see him do it. Oh, there's Sylphie, there's Fitz. I wonder what they're buying. Is she going to buy something for him? Oh. Come on, Sylphie. Ooh, something different. Yeah, she looks so shy and just kind of like shook up a little bit. Maybe listen maybe some trendy wrestling that's crazy i mean rudy's been basically just not spending any time with her at all。やはり何か yeah, the fact that she's not saying anything here. Ooh, what did, did Rudy realize something? That's gotta have him feel in some type of way. He knows, like internally, he knows being rejected by, by Fitz hurts him. It's so crazy how his body and mind kind of know a little bit. Oh, he's gonna learn. That's the point. That's the point. He hasn't, he's been avoiding her. He hasn't done anything. He's gotta run into her here. He has to. Yes! Has she, like, I know she spends a lot of time in the library, but, like, she's totally waiting for him. Oh, calling her out. Oh, come on, with that excuse. Oh. Rudy's asking those hard-hitting questions. Something's fishy. 
He he kind of smells it. Oh, never mind. She's just kind of back to normal now. Ooh. Ooh, that is an interesting way for him to think. I don't think that's the case, though. We know that's not true. Rudy's, like, rationalizing now. Come on, I want these two to have a real, like, conversation. You like, there's a little blush there. Ooh. <laughs> he did that inadvertently. Uh-huh, yeah it does. Yeah, it does. Oh, those feelings are there, man. They're there. Rudy, that be questionals, all sorts of things about himself. Oh, Rudy! This is love? Oh, my goodness. My man Rudy is crushing hard. <laughs> I'm in love with the man. That's the question. Ooh, what is he gonna ask this guy for? Trying to find out if Fitz is really a boy. Does he know? Oh, interesting. Interesting. He has to know. Rudy needs the clarification. Oh, Rudy. Yeah, he can't give him the straight answers. Rudy's gonna have to find out for himself. Yes, you would. <laughs> the struggle. Oh, that would have been embarrassing if if, if uh, Sophie heard that. Oh, the lucky fall. Are we getting a moment? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yo. They are both blushing. Rudy, watch your hands. Oh, boy. He felt that Fitz is a woman. He knows. Oh, no. He figured it out. And in that moment, it's back. Rudy is okay. Sylphie is the one. That is so crazy. He's been struggling with this for so long. Wow, look at the restraint by him. <laughs> oh, I wonder how Sylphie feels about that, though. And just like that. But still, there was something there. Wow. Well, not the craziest of episodes. By any means, we finally got the realization from Rudy is that Fitz is in fact a woman. He still doesn't know Sylphie's true identity, which... Man, they're just really keeping this slow burn, and it is killing me. But it's so big that he finally learned that, because he's the only person in the entire school, really, besides the princess 
and like her group and then the headmaster who know that Fitz is a woman. Like that's big news. And whenever these two interact next, it's probably going to be awkward. It's going to be really interesting to see how Sylphie reacts and what she does, what she says to him going forward. I hope she doesn't just turtle up and like avoid him and stuff like that because the cat's out of the bag now. And more importantly, Rudy didn't quite cure his, his ED and his impotence, but the fact that he was able to, to get it up, we'll say, that is a massive development as well because this is something he's been struggling with for more or less like two years now, I think, if not like a little bit more. And I think it's just one of those things where his mind and body kind of knows and, and maybe even recognizes Sylphie a little bit. Like these two, I, I'm totally shipping these two at this point, man. Like I was never a fan of Rudy and Eris. I just didn't like them together. But like Rudy and Sylphie, I could totally get behind because they have the history. It seems like there is a real, you know, chance at a relationship here. And I think his, his body kind of recognized that in that moment. The fact that she was the one to kind of break him out of this, at least for a brief moment, I think is really, really interesting and maybe very telling. But we'll have to see what happens going forward. Besides that, we saw Cliff and Alina Lease leave. I'm curious to see when we will see those two again. It was kind of weird that Soldat popped back up into the picture really quickly. And we'll kind of have to monitor the whole Nanahoshi situation as well and kind of see what things she's able to learn and do as we go forward here. But some big revelations coming and we'll see what kind of next steps these two in Rudy and Sylphie take in their relationship going forward. If you guys enjoyed this episode, let me know what you thought of it down in that comment section down below. And as always, you guys, it would mean the world to me if you would like and subscribe. Anyway, have a great day, you guys. Take care and peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah.